Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing the Radeon R9 290. Very gorgeous blower, this one. <laughs> so in my opinion, this cooler looks absolutely amazing, guys. But unfortunately, the design features in there, it is really, really hot and loud. And, uh, well, I, I, you don't want that on a graphics card, of course. <laughs> That's why I'm going to be replacing the 3X cooler on this GPU after we're done with this Sunday video because I want to experience what people with reference to 90s experienced back in 2013 when it released. Basically this GPU as well as the 290X were the cards that made AMD the hot and loud brand at the time. Of course that isn't the case anymore but you know what aside from temperatures and noise this was actually a really good purchase at the time because you could buy these for 399 US dollars MSRP and it competed in performance and it actually beat sometimes the GTX 780 which retailed for 649 US dollars. Let's go over the specs real quick. This has 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, 2560 shading units, it consumes 275 watts of power and here it is, it has a 512 bit memory bus that's higher or wider than the RTX 3090 Ti that's 384 bits wow that's crazy let's install it in the system and see what it's capable of shall we and for now in the desktop everything is installed the gpu as well as the drivers and speaking of drivers these are the nimes uh, custom drivers for this card or the gcn 2.0 architecture of gpus and that's the only way to have the adrenaline 22.3.2 drivers installed here and it actually says r9 290 x there but this is of course the r9 290 you can check the specs here in tech power Ups. GPU-Z by the way. Also the render test of GPU-Z has been running here uh, while we're talking and as you can see the, the GPU temperatures are creeping up there. <laughs> 92 degrees Celsius. Anyways we're running it with the Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM as usual and let's get into the first game. First up we got Cyberbug 2077 at 1080p resolution using the medium settings here as you can see no FSR at the moment. Okay looking beautiful here on medium settings and it is actually kind of playable not kind of it is very playable it's not dropping from 30 in this roundabout at least we're gonna go to another very intensive area by the way this is not it um, but it's actually pretty stable as well no frame time spikes no stutters you know wow i am impressed this gpu is nine years old guys it's running cyberpunk 2077 like a champ and this isn't even with FSR, we still gotta test that out to see how it looks and how it performs. Damn, but, but so far, like, in these few seconds that I've been testing it, I'm already impressed, guys. Gotta say, I was not expecting it to perform this well. This street is also intensive, by the way, so let's see how it performs here. Maybe it will drop into the 20s. Oh boy, it is certainly close, but no. All right, 32 there. Oh, gosh, damn it. Okay, that, see that, guys? It's cyber bug. That's why I say it's cyber bug. It still has tons of bugs. But yeah, pretty solid experience, guys. Now, this is the demanding area that I wanted to check out. Oh, gosh, damn it. Okay, um, <laughs> it seems like it doesn't really drop from, like, 32 frames per second. This is really good for a GPU this old, guys, isn't it? Wow, very impressive indeed. But let's try it out with some FSR to see how much of a boost we can get in these older GPUs. Okay, ultra quality FSR here, looking really good. And I am actually running it on a 1080p monitor today, so I can see uh, how it looks at native 1080p. And honestly, I can still tell the difference between this and native resolution. Um, but you know what? I would be totally fine playing like this anyways. And so far, so good. We didn't really gain a ton of, F of FPS, but any FPS boost is welcomed. Let's see it here. 40. Yeah, that's that's a good improvement there, guys. Oh, I mean, yeah, we, we went from like, what? 32, 33 on the lowest to like 38, which is... Uh, pretty good, right? I mean, the fact that it is playable, the fact that a game like this is playable on a nine-year-old GPU is, is fantastic. 
modded drivers or not. I actually think that the other drivers don't really make that much of a difference in Cyberpunk 2077. Watch Random Gaming in HD's video if you are interested in the comparison. Uh, but yeah, it is pretty solid, guys. 40 FPS around here. We gained about like 10 frames in this area. That's pretty good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Call of Duty Warzone is next. We're playing this one at 1080p using the low settings for a competitive-ish like experience. And let's do this, guys. Deploy parachute and let's see the FPS while falling here. See all of these trees around us. This reminds me of what we got with the GTX 1650, honestly. It might be a little bit better than that even. That's very impressive. Although it consumes 200 more watts of power than the 1650 though. But yeah, it seems like it is gonna be playable here, guys. Water is also pretty intensive in this game or kind of broken in some areas. Seems like this one isn't one of them, I think. Um, yeah, drop slightly only. This is nice, 100 FPS at times. Oh boy, there's a guy there. What the, oh, the guy just died here? What? I got an elimination, how? <laughs> All right, let's be careful here. Uh-oh, they're, they're watching us from behind, guys. Come on, no, 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 don't you, don't you dare. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you for the kill. I am glad he didn't shoot right away. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple of guys really close to us. I got the UAV. What? Are they, yeah, they're falling from the sky, never mind. <laughs> the enemies are around here. One just died. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Okay, who's shooting somebody else? There is one right here. Camping bastard! I knew he was there and he still got me. Oh, well, it was his friend. Also, can we get this guy while, while we're falling? <laughs> no, we cannot. We cannot. Should I reload? I got 20 bullets. Come on. Come on. No! I got him. <laughs> Last bullet. Ooh. Let me just kill that guy. Oh, it doesn't perforate the, the door okay well i gotta say that for 70 euros with two years of warranty because i bought it in cex uh this is a heck of a deal you also gotta keep in mind that your power bill will go up by a little bit but i think it's definitely worth that price especially with two years of warranty like this is not bad i can play this comfortably elden ring is next at 1080p using the medium settings without motion blur this one is apparently a little bit rougher on the 290 here yeah 30s mm. although this is a pretty intensive area in the map not gonna lie uh but I expected a little bit more, considering that the graphics aren't really anything special, especially um, at medium settings, guys. I mean, it's still very playable, don't get me wrong, you can actually lock it to 30 and have a locked 30 FPS experience all of the time. Can I actually do something? Thank you very much. <laughs> because to be fair, if it gets 30 plus here, it will get 30 plus pretty much in like 99 or 98 percent of the map. Uh, maybe at the end of it, it will drop a little bit. I don't know, some people have said that it's a little bit more intensive there uh, but hey you can always drop it to low if you feel the need to um, I wouldn't to be honest it really does look bad at low settings and even on medium settings you can see that these shadows are pretty bad looking and they flicker sometimes yeah I don't know I'll just try to grab my souls which are right under that huge dragon over there yeah, that's, that's gonna be ugly, guys. Um, FPS also drop a lot with its fire, by the way. So I'm just uh, I'm just gonna go here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we got this, we got this. Can we actually hit him or do something to it? Okay, I'm doing it. I, I'm dying as well, but I am doing it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, okay. Fire incoming. Oh! <laughs> Right, this is what I wanted to see anyways. It didn't really drop from 30 there, as you can see. Now we got PUBG at the 1080p resolution using medium settings. Oh, I don't like this, guys. There is a pro dropping with us because it has a, a custom parachute, you know, or whatever. Yep, yeah, okay. So uh, pretty nice FPS, actually. Unfortunately, this game is stuttering a little bit. In some seasons, it's buttery smooth. In other seasons, they introduce a few stuttering issues, unfortunately. Well, that that's... It's just the PUBG nature at this point. There's a guy. Oh my god. So that's what I heard. That was massive stutters. 
Oh my gosh, that was terrible, actually. Not because of the GPU, by the way, okay? Gotta tell you that. It, it also happens with my higher-end GPUs and newer ones as well. It's just that this season is a little bit broken, unfortunately. Seems like they're going with the... Seems like they're going the stutter night route, guys. Stuttering issues, yes. They're based in the same engine, so that's... It's kind of understandable a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm glad I got out of there. Um, we're we're gonna be screwed. Okay, this is terrible. This is a terrible position to be in right now. I almost got him. So different map, big city, and it's still getting like 80s, which is really damn good, guys. It still stutters. That's really unfortunate. Oh, oh what? They're already shooting at me. Are you kidding me? Like, oh god. <laughs> City's blocked. No. I w oh, come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a guy. Okay, well, that, that's it for PUBG, guys. I don't care anymore. It's playable. Red Dead Redemption 2 is up next at the 1080p resolution using the Xbox One X settings. But at 1080p instead of 4K, of course, these were provided by Digital Foundry. And look at that. Arthur be chilling there. He doesn't even know what's coming. <laughs> oh, look at those smoke effects. They actually look pretty good. Anyway, Roach, where the heck are you, boy? Get over here now. Ah, oh, there he is. That's my boy. Okay, so 40 FPS or something's like 40s, you know, that's that's pretty good. Let's antagonize Bob here. Goodbye, Bob! Stop playing copyright music. Okay, so here it comes, guys. The benchmark begins. <laughs> Police are gonna come after us and try to kill us, and that's like exactly the same thing as what happens in the actual built-in benchmark of this game. Um, and it takes place here as well, so this is perfect. Anyway, th this is actually really good, guys. It's not 60 FPS, of course, but wow, it looks incredible. And it's a 90-year-old GPU giving out these graphics with super playable FPS. That's just that's amazing to me. I actually tested the GTX Titan in this game, which was a much more expensive GPU at the time. Although it came out, I think, a year earlier than this. But it was from the Kepler architecture. Oh, I wanted to get to the... The other area. Oh boy, come on. Let's go, Arthur. The Titan did not do so well in this one. It dropped from 30 frames per second on like low settings, low to medium. It, the settings were lower than these. So yeah, kind of a shame from the Kepler architecture here in Red Dead 2. But this one, GCN 2.0, which competed with Kepler at the time, is doing so much better in this game. Look at those colors. I mean, it's just so amazing, this one. All right, let's go. Come on. Are you kidding me? I only have a knife. All right, come over here, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get, use it. God damn it, Arthur. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Oh my God, I, I need to go. No, we're gonna die. We're definitely gonna die. Valorant is next, super easy to run. So we're playing on high settings with four times MSAA and 1080p. Oh, <laughs> and will you look at that? Holy crap. It is a high refresh rate experience for sure, guys. Damn, what an insane amount of FPS. 240 hertz monitors with a 90-year-old GPU. Well, you can have that. And the best thing is, this isn't even low settings. It's high with four times MSAA, guys. Down, one down. Just started, so... 269 FPS average there for a second. That was really good. There we go. There we go. This is perfect, basically. I mean, you don't even need a better GPU for Valorant, honestly. It will kill her. It will kill her. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi there. Nice. Double kill. Oh. Also, you will need a fast CPU if you want these FPS, but not the 5900X. This CPU that I'm using is good for like 500 plus or something crazy like that. Uh, at least that's what we've seen with the RX 6600 last week. Ten kills remaining. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Five kills remaining. Come on, we can do this. Gosh, you camping bastard every single time. One kill remaining. Nice. And we got this! 269 FPS at well. Forza Horizon 5 is next at 1080p using the medium settings. These still look pretty good and uh, they perform quite well, as you can see. 
Is it gonna be above 60 all of the time? That's gonna be impressive. Out in the open areas, it's not intensive whatsoever. Of course, that's to be expected. But uh, we're gonna go to the city area, which is really, really intensive, especially in the tunnels, as usual. And uh, we'll see if it drops there. I guess it will, guys. I'm betting it will. Oh, bushy area, not dropping uh, that much, guys. Also, it's not really stuttery. It was a little bit stuttery at the beginning, but now it's buttery smooth, actually. Pretty good to know that a card like this can run it absolutely flawlessly. No! Ow! Oh, no, every time, every single time I play this game. Why? Why didn't they make a mod where the, the trees are destructible? All of them. Ooh, starting to drop a little bit here near the stadium into the 60s, 50s. Okay, this is not even a very intensive area and it's already dropping. Hmm, <laughs> not dropping that much. Well, uh, never mind. <laughs> Into the 40s at times. I guess it's still a little bit better than like the 780 Ti, isn't it? And now the tunnel, the, the last... God, our, oh, let's go back then. <laughs> the last challenge for the R9290 in this game. Getting out of this 35. It is overall a really nice experience in this one. You guys are gonna like it probably. Dying Light 2 at 1080p using FSR on ultra quality, which actually looks pretty good in this one. DirectX 11 and the medium settings preset. Let's start counting our frames. And unfortunately, it's not really a 60 FPS experience. I was hoping for it. Uh, but well, this is a super intensive title in the recent one, of course. And the fact that it's playable at medium settings and 1080p res with FSR, uh, which looks good, as I told you, is actually really good. There we go. Good job. Oh, they, they, got, they got bows and arrows all over them. All right. Let's get this one now. Okay. Easy peasy. What the hell is that guy doing? There? Is that a zombie? Yes, it's a zombie. Okay. <laughs> he looked like a guy just standing there. Oh, I guess we can we can just grab this. Let, yes, down there. Oh, boy, what is happening? What am I doing? Oh, I'm dead. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, hello, kind people. How's it going? Rip? Who? Um, 2036. We're in 2036 in this game. What the hell? You guys let that thing kill me almost. Oh, too many zombies here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, right? It's good. It's all good. Just want to, to find a way up. Well, guys, I guess this is the best or as high as I can go here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can take a good look at everything from here. It's not really that intensive. Uh, it seems to be running really well here with the 290. GTA 5 is next at 1080p using the very high settings. Basically, everything is maxed out aside from the grass quality, the soft shadows and the post effects and the advanced graphic settings as well. Um, yeah, these are like my custom settings for best price perform... Price per what? <laughs> for best visuals to performance ratio. And I really think these actually look better than the maxed out settings because I just don't like the look of post effects on Ultra, honestly. Um, but yeah, these perform really well, as you can see, to be expected once again because this sort of performs like um, an RX 570 in most games. And this is an older title, so it's perfect for a GPU like this, DirectX 11 and everything. Yeah, it runs extremely well, and it's so gorgeous, guys. But you know what the most gorgeous thing about this game is? Jack. And we're gonna visit him, of course. <laughs> like, it, that, there can't be a GTA 5 video without visiting Jack. Otherwise, it's, it's just not a GTA 5 video, right? All right, people, please get out of the way now. Ugh. And the real test comes now. Grassy areas are the most intensive parts of this game, and it still doesn't drop from 80 because of the custom settings. Where is Jack? Oh, what? Oh, there is Jacqueline there. I don't care. Jacqueline, get out of here. <laughs> I want to see Jack. Come on. She's not dead, by the way. She's a very tough gal. Um, dropping into the 70s here in these bushes. Very, very intensive, but no problem for the R9. <gasps> 290. No, Bob, what are you doing? Do you want a hug, Bob? Do you want a hug? Gosh, I'm so sorry about Rex. Yeah, now you're scared, right? Get the heck 
out of this game, Bob! Now, a game that I didn't even think would launch in this card, but it does even with the normal drivers, is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 1080p resolution, 100% render scaling using the medium settings here, and I disabled motion blur. As you can see, 40s is very impressive. Now, medium anti-aliasing means that we're not really running the game at full native resolution, but honestly, on a 1080p monitor, which I am using right now, it looks perfectly fine to me. I could play the game all day long like this. The FPS are stable, it's smooth, it's playable like this. Again, single player title, so you don't really need 60 plus all of the time. It's just a great experience here in Valhalla at medium settings. You don't even need to go to, to low settings. So that's it for the benchmark run of this game. Really pleasant surprise. Uh, it has a ton of frame time uh, spikes there, as you can see in this graph, uh, but those aren't really that noticeable, or they aren't noticeable at all when you're playing the game. It's CSGO time at 1080p using the low settings with high textures because, well, it's a competitive title. Most people play on low. Oh, yeah, direct beefo. Let's go for those one taps, guys. <sighs> well, was that a headshot even? What the hell? Stop, stop. Gosh, bastards. <laughs> Where? What? Somebody was shooting at me. <laughs> Get wrecked, boy. Revenge now. God, bot bank. What are you doing here? What are you doing there, Jones? Come on, don't, don't camp like that. Don't camp at an angle. Yeah, that sucks in death matches. What are you doing here? <laughs> you guys want to go with Yop? Let's go with Yop. Okay. No, no, this guy just spawned here. What the hell? Stupid spawns, dude. It's so annoying. Come on. What? 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 Stole my kill! He's stopped! Everybody's with an up here! What the heck is happening? Come on! Oh, he's dead. He's dead now. <laughs> That's another one. Uh... No. No, only one bullet. Okay, that's, uh, that's not a bot. He's just standing still there. So I thought it was. Come on. Okay. Ah, I should have gone with the up much earlier. Damn it! This is not going well today, guys, in CSGO. Ah. It's just a chicken. Freaking chickens. Bot bank. I can't hit bot, guys. I just, I have a problem. Whenever I see a bot, I just can't do it. <laughs> well, aside from these two. <laughs> Thank you, Oliveira. Oh, we got that one as well. And that one. Let's heal ourselves. Nope. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to become a pro at this game, you gotta complain about everything but your skills, you know? It's just... Am I missing shots? Yes. Why? Because of the spawns, obviously, and the, the ping, yes. And the FPS, of course, the FPS are, are terrible. Dude, 90-year-old GPU, what do you expect? Terrible FPS, of course. <laughs> it's really good. Now we're playing Fortnite at 1080p using high settings and DirectX 11 API. Oh yes, I, I totally forgot. It's Stutter Night, it's not Fortnite, guys. And why is the GPU utilization not maxed out here? Yeah, it's not getting full GPU usage in DirectX 11, which is not in beta, by the way. We gotta go with DX12 here. DX12 is working way better. Even though it's in beta, as you can see, it's not really stuttering as much, while dropping at least. And it's in the 60s instead of the 50s because it actually utilizes the GPU properly. Never mind about the stutters, this is not more stable than the X11. It's pretty much the same. Look at that frame time graph and tell me, is Fortnite playable at this time? For me, I guess after a couple of games it is because it becomes smoother, but for the first couple of games, and you know what, most people like want to play a game, they want to hop into it and not spend half an hour waiting it for it to not stutter, right? I don't I don't think this is this is an enjoyable experience. And especially if you get into a fight, you're gonna have a ton of trouble trying to aim at the guys. And it, this has happened to me tons of times in these videos. Um, yeah, just dying because the game isn't smooth and it stutters all over the place. Oh boy, what the heck? Um, I was actually <laughs> expecting this to perform a little bit better than it is. Uh, maybe like 60 to 70 instead of 50s to 60s most of the time. 
Oh, oh, you can build now. Ah, they ruined it. I don't want to play this, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I have no words. Apex Legends. We're playing this at 1080p using the low settings with medium textures. Hmm, Apex is a game that doesn't really like old GPU architectures, and I guess it shows a little bit. At least here, looking at the entire map, it is kind of underperforming compared to my expectations, at least. Maybe down here it's gonna be way better. FPS are slowly increasing, that's for sure. And this is a, a waterfall area. I didn't know that this was here. Yeah, actually, you know what? This is quite decent. It's dropping into the 80s in this area, which is kind of intensive, I guess, at least compared to like here. And it looks good. It's 1080p resolution, very colorful. I like it. Textures look great as well on medium. But I think it will probably drop from 60 frames, guys. Oh my god, I am gonna die. Uh, especially inside of ultimates and stuff like that. So let's just try to get out of here now, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm screwed, am I not? Stop! Oh, get out! God damn it, you flipping bastard! How did that miss? No! 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 Oh my god, that sucks. Come on! Okay, I got him. I got him. Let's just get out of here now. I gotta say that down here it feels smooth. It actually does feel quite good and compared to like the GTX 780 which cost a lot more when this came out and it competed against that of course that I told you in the intro. Um, it's doing a much better job guys. Like the 780 drops from 60 FPS very often. All right, ultimate out in a more demanding area now. 80 FPS there sometimes. Let's throw smoke as well. Let's get inside of here. And okay, now it's dropping from 60, of course. This is a more intensive area and I threw a couple of smokes. But you know what? It's not too bad. It doesn't drop that much and it's only in worst case scenario. And lastly, let's play Battlefield 5 at the 1080p resolution using the high settings. And as you can see, wow, this is looking fantastic and it's performing really well, 60 plus. Holy crap, guys. Now, there's one thing I don't like about this game. It's the TAA visibility. And I could barely see that guy. Like, this is the perfect example right there. Oh, boy. Okay. We'll find there's a guy there. There's a guy there. Get. Yeah. <laughs> it does drop from 60 sometimes. Yes, but for a GPU this old, this is just amazing. Oh, is that a friendly guy? What? Oh, yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> He didn't have a, a friendly icon, did he? And if you must have the 60 plus at all times, it is definitely possible at medium settings. Um, and on low settings for a competitive experience, I actually logged into a game on low. Um, it was in the Hamad uh, map, which is one of the least intensive ones. And at the spawn, I was getting 180 FPS, guys, on low settings. Of course, in other maps, it would probably be at like 120 or so, but... That was just insane. I was really impressed. That's why I decided to go with high. There's another one there. Oh, that was really close. Oh, I'm 1 HP. <laughs> no, get out. Get out of the water. God damn it. Okay. Oh, there's one. Come on. Okay. Well, I think that's it for Battlefield 5. Yeah, really nice in this one. I really enjoyed it. Conclusion time. Should you buy the R9 290 in 2022? Well, it depends. If you can grab it for a deal like I did, like 70 bucks, yep, sure. You can have a ton of fun in a lot of titles, but you should try to find another model that isn't the reference design because as you could see, 90 plus degrees Celsius, although they say it's safe, it's a little bit too much. But there's also another thing that bothers me. It's the power consumption of the R9290. It's too damn high for the performance it gets. So only buy these cards if you can't really find anything else for a good price and you actually come across an, an R9290 for a decent deal. Otherwise, I would probably just buy like a GTX 1060, for example, which is much newer, much more um, power efficient, and it actually will run games a lot better than the R9290. And that's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like if you did and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.